Question 7. Um, phenolphthalene is an indicator that can be prepared by the reaction of phenol with phthalic and hydride. Phenolphthalene prepared by this method can have insoluble impurities present. It can be purified by recrystallisation from an aqueous ethanol solution. Outline the steps that should be carried out to recrystallise it. Right, I've just pulled the mark scheme here because the, it's a very clear mark scheme and it's absolutely straightforward in terms of what you should know for recrystallisation. So we have four stages. These are your four. You get all four of these will get you two marks. Two or three of them will get you one. What you must do, and this is a requirement in the mark scheme and it's actually just generally true, you've got to filter before you cool. So that has to be the right way around. Okay. Um, a name a technique that could be used to determine if it was pure. Now, I straight away had put down melting point, um, and that could also be mixed melting point, but you have pretty much every other form of um, analysis that you have in your list. So that would include chromatography, um, your NMR, your mass spec, your infrared spectroscopy, Everything could be used, but this is the one I would expect you to put down. Um, okay, and then you have got a calculation. Um, and it looks at first glance like a higher calculation, and it is a bit, but there is a slight trick in it in that it's not telling you um, what was produced and asking you to work back the way, and it's giving you both of the things that were put in. What you've got here is an excess followed by a percentage yield. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is figure out which is in excess. So let's start with the moles of phenol. And I think they've been reasonably nice because they've put in your all of your um, gram formula masses here. So moles of phenol, we've got 0 0.96 grams of phenol and divide that by 94 gives us 0 0.01. Okay, so from my ratio, I know that that means my phenol to my phthalic, can't say it properly, anhydride. Okay, this is a 2 to 1. So my 0 0.01 would need 0 0.05. Sorry, 0, 0, 0.05. Okay, um, so let's have a look and see what we've actually got. I'm just going to call this PA just to make it a little bit easier to type, to write in. Um, so we've got 0. Point, where are we going? 0. Point, no, 1.05, sorry, not 0. Point, uh, divided by 148. And that gives me 0. 0.0071. Okay, this is in excess of this. So this is in excess. So it's the phenol that's going to decide where things go. So you have to do all of that before you can even start. Right, now that you've got your phenol, it becomes pretty simple, to be honest. Okay, because now it, you can just do it as proportion. So phenol to phenolphthalene. Okay, from the equation, this is a 2 to 1. Okay, so I'm going to take two formula masses of phenol. So 94 times 2 gives me 188. Would give me one of these, so 318. So if I have 0.96, I should get, just doing proportion, that divided by that times by that, gives me 1.624. However, that's 100% yield and you're told it was 58. So I'm going to multiply that by 0.58 and that gives me my answer at 0 0.94 grams. So, yeah, a fair amount of work, but not particularly complicated sums for you guys. And that's your answer.